I completely forgot to stutter. This was a time years ago that changed my life, changed the way I thought about my stutter and changed my stutter in general forever. And what happened was it was one night I was laying in bed. I was crying next to, I don't believe it was my girlfriend at the time, just someone I was hanging out with. I was crying next to her. I was explaining how I was feeling. She was curious about how I was feeling and very interested to hear why I was feeling this way. And this went on that me talking and talking and talking for about one hour, went on for an hour. <laughs> and uh, after the hour, we did, we, it's, not, it's not like we timed it or anything, but roughly an hour, my lover at the time just stopped me and was like, Chase, did you notice that you didn't stutter at all in the last hour? And I thought back to the last hour. It's like, you're fucking right. I didn't stutter at all in that last hour. And this moment changed my life. This moment completely changed the way I viewed my stutter and changed the way I was approaching overcoming my stutter because all the other ways like reading out loud wasn't working. The ways of reading in the mirror wasn't working. Even meditation, I didn't see a benefit in it. Maybe I was meditating wrong. It just wasn't working for me. And this moment made me realize that I do not need to speak differently. I do not need a speech technique. I do not need to be conscious of how I'm speaking, of my mechanical way of moving my mouth. I do not need to be conscious of that because I know, and this is what that this night proved to me, I know that I already have what it takes to speak effortlessly, to not think about my speech. It's in me, I did it. And you do it all the time too. But what I realized this night is there's nothing wrong with me. But what that situation was giving me, why I was so effortless there that now I'm effortless everywhere after that moment, not after that moment, but after that moment I realized I, and I worked on this, what that moment gave me with my lover at the time was a sense of connection, of true connection. I was being vulnerable. I was completely expressing how I was feeling. I was holding nothing back. And I knew she was not judging me in my process in discovering why I was feeling the way I was feeling. I felt completely fucking safe to express myself openly without filter. There was no judgment. I was so safe to be myself. I didn't need to hide anything. Hiding something would be the opposite of what I was doing. I was expressing everything. And this is the state that is authentic. This is the authentic state that once you are in, you are speaking effortlessly. Now you see, there will be times where you speak effortlessly, but a lot of these times will be governed by the people you're speaking to if they are compassionate people, if they're not judging you, if you feel safe with their energy. And although this is amazing experiences to have to prove you don't, you don't need help to speak, you already know how to speak, we wanna to get to a point where you internally feel safe to express yourself however the fuck you wanna express yourself regardless of who you're speaking to. It's not about getting the best response. It's not about making people like you. It's about internally feeling the emotions you're feeling in this present moment when you're speaking and feeling like there is no danger whatsoever to express the, the words and the stories and the thoughts that are connected to these emotions. 
it's like expressing who you are your true being your true essence is a completely safe a completely safe venture to go on we stutter the most like that is the goal because we stutter the most we get locked in our mind the most we anticipate and avoid and freak out the most and get panicked the most and stress out the most stutter the most when we feel internally like we have to put up a front like we are not good enough as we are right now like we must prove ourselves to this person this person is higher than us we must prove ourselves we cannot ripple the waters we must please this person we must be perfect because we cannot be judged by this person all those beliefs that make us stutter more is connect is connected to the belief that we are not enough as we are because we do not need to think about what we want we do not need to think about what we want to say about who we want to be we already are that person but overcoming stuttering is about removing the doubts fears and anxieties that stop stop you from naturally feeling that and naturally expressing that way of being i hope that bombed your mind because that is overcoming stuttering it's not about learning speech techniques it's not about learning a breathing technique of course your state matters and if and i love breathing exercises in the morning but not while you're speaking you already know how to speak all right that's overcoming stuttering and if you want to overcome stuttering authentically the same way i did in the same way I'm bringing all my clients to do right now as we speak. If you want to join the pact, the pact, the pack, the pack, then you can look at the closest link down below in the description and you can book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. We'll hop on a call and see if we would be a good fit to work together. All right. I love you. You can already speak fine. Just get out of your own way. Peace.